So today I'm So today I will be starting a mini-series that will probably be called The Fear of New YouTubers. In this mini-series I'm gonna discuss a few topics that I, as a new YouTuber, was afraid of and that kept me from starting my YouTube channel. And since I believe I'm not the only one with those fears, I want to share them with you and tell you how you may be able to overcome those fears. So stay tuned. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the fear number one I had, which is what if I will be judged for starting my YouTube channel? What if people will make fun of me or worse, I might get bullied, might get haters or stuff. Okay, so why did I think that people were going to judge me for having a YouTube channel? Well. The thing is, when you start a YouTube channel, it's just you in your room with a camera and you're talking to the camera. Whereas when you're with a group of friends, you're not a different person, but you behave. You kind of change your behavior in regard of the people you're around. Like when you're with teachers, you speak very formally. When you're with your friends, you don't. You're the same person, but the way you act changes whether you're with friends family teacher business people whoever so yeah when you start a youtube channel and it's just you and the camera you get a chance to really be yourself on camera like let's take me as an example i can be very social at work but then very quiet at school because i don't know school makes me nervous and when I'm here, I get the chance to be myself. And that's a side not everyone has seen on you. So people might say you're really different in real life than when you're on YouTube. That's why people might think it's weird or funny that you have a YouTube channel. Second is, we all know a lot of people who are very famous on YouTube. And when you start a channel, people might think, oh, she's just trying to be famous. She wants to be Jenna Marbles or PewDiePie or Superwoman. And it's not. Um, YouTube is a very good way to express your creativity and to grow as a person and to put yourself out there. And maybe even talk about things that bother you that you don't want to discuss with other people, for example. So. That was the first point. Why would people make fun of you? Second thing you might be scared of is what if I get haters? And you already have about 100 people that hate you. And they might not even know why, but they just do. Because I don't know why, but people find it funny to make fun of people, criticize them. So there can be strangers on YouTube, people on Facebook, people in real life. There are people who hate you and you might not even know they do. You might not even know they exist. So please don't be scared of haters. Um, as a matter of fact, I will tell you something personal. So when I was in high school, I used to dress all black and wear t-shirts of Slipknot with the scary faces on them. And I had cystic acne. And I wore glasses, I was a bit chubby, so yeah, I was a very easy target, also because I was very nervous at school. Fortunately for me, I had very nice people teaching me how to sit up straight, how to dress properly, how to be more confident, and they really helped me out a lot. But the thing is, I was changing myself so much that I came to a point where I was thinking I don't know who I am anymore I completely changed I lost myself and that's when I started thinking like I'm this person when I'm with family I'm this person when I'm with those friends I'm this person when I'm with those friends and it took me a while to figure out like I am me I'm not acting around different people but that's just who I am 
and my behavior changes to the people I'm with and that's completely normal, completely fine. So the point is I behave like my friends behave, I talk the way they talked, I dress the way they used to dress, I wore makeup and handbags and high heels to school and that wasn't me at all. And the thing is, I changed so much about myself, but I wasn't perceived any differently, you know? I was still talked about as being the nerd. The point is, you can change so much about the way you look, the way you talk, the way you dress. You will always be you and people will hate you no matter what. And it might feel like 60% of the people you know hate you and 40% loves you, but it, it's actually not like that at all. There might be 10% of the people you know that hate you, but it feels like 70%. Because when people say something rude to you, you remember that. You don't remember the times people said you are beautiful eyes or you're really pretty, you're really funny. You don't remember that. You remember the people saying, I hate your voice, I hate how bad you are. That's what you remember. So it will take you a while to realize that there are already people hating you. And when you put yourself out there for the whole world to see, people will love you and people will hate you. And it's up to you to decide what to do with that. Will you let it get to you or will you focus on the people who love you and and connect with them. That's what YouTube is all about. Let's say you are being bullied right now and you really want to start a YouTube channel but you're scared you will be bullied even more. Let me tell you, you being bullied is a phase. Let me explain to you why bullying is just a phase. I will give an example. Um, I was bullied in high school. Then I went to university. And people were nice to me, but I was still nervous because of being bullied. Then I went to conservatory next and people were so incredibly nice to me. And that was a reminder that, oh, it's not me. Um, people don't hate me because I'm ugly or fat or whatever. That was just that little group of people in the whole wide world that was... Um, on me. So yeah, um, for example now I study retail management. My class doesn't really hate me but they don't really like me either because I'm, I have a very weird sense of humor. The thing is my class may not like me but at work people do. So it's not because a certain group that seems to be everything because you see them every day doesn't like you that nobody does. For example, I can be, I work at a clothing store at the moment and I can make a joke to a customer and they will laugh their ass off. I can make the same joke to a different customer and they will have this look on their face that says, will you please shut up and let me pay so I can go home. Like everybody's different and because everybody's different. You need to find a way to adapt your behavior, not change yourself, but adapt the way you behave to the people you're with to get the same result. So, for example, I can go to someone I never met and be like, and they will laugh their ass off. I can do the same to someone else and they will be like, and that's because everybody's different. and. There probably won't be a lot of people that think that's funny unless they really know you. So the thing is you need to adapt yourself and your behavior a little bit in the beginning. Make them get to know you and then, then you can make the weirdness hit them in the face. So I will end off this video by quickly summarizing the topics we've discussed. So number one. People might find it weird that you have a YouTube channel because you're not famous or you're tr they think you're trying to be famous, which you're probably not. They might find it weird you have a YouTube channel because here you can be yourself 100% while when you talk to, one, to someone 
feel like a chameleon and you change your behavior to the people you talk to. Second point, haters. So you might have a ton of haters that you will probably never meet in real life. Um, and then there might be 10% of people who hate you and it will feel like 70% because you don't remember someone saying I love the way you smile. You will remember the people who say, damn, your voice is so annoying, shut the fuck up. And uh, it's sad, but that's what we remember. And it's up to you to change the way you think and to focus on the people who love you. Because there's a lot more, but you don't realize that right now. And you need to put in your head that, that there will always be someone who has the same sense of humor and who will love and support you no matter what. And also something else we discussed, Numero tres <laughs> is that bullying is a face and you might be in high school in a class of 20 people who bully you every day and you will feel like the whole world is against you. But I advise you to take a step back right now and think about this for a second. Those are 20 people you see every day, you talk to every day and they always criticize you and that little part is the part you live in right now five years from now you will have forgot their names you will be like oh yeah that's true they bullied me um, some people you won't even know they exist anymore <laughs> so and also think about this for a while a long while no i'm kidding um, but those are 20 people out of the entire population of the world that is nothing and you need to get it in your head this is just a face and it will pass like for real five years from now you will be like oh yeah what's bully it's true and you will know what an awesome life you have right now so yeah guys that was it for this video i hope you liked it excuse me for looking at the viewfinder I was so very attractive. No, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, it's because I put it on FaceTime camera because I can see if it's still recording or not. It is. I'm trying to look in the camera as much as possible, but it makes sense to look at the big screen. But fine. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that was it for this video guys. Make sure to thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe because there will be more of these videos in this series. Comment down below if you have any advice to people who are scared to start their YouTube channel or if you have any question in regards of starting a YouTube channel or whatever, this video, music, leave it all down below and I'll get back to you. So yeah, bye guys. Thank you for watching so much. I really appreciate it. Bye guys. Hi guys, so today I'm... No. Hi guys, so... No. Hi guys, so today I'm going to tell you how... Guys. The fear of new YouTubers. What is this? Hi guys, so don't mind the hair. I just got out of the shower. Fabulous. Um, traffic. I will first look if it's still filming because I know my camera. It's not. Hi, I'm back. I wanted to check if my camera was still recording. I'm gonna check again because I'm not, never sure. Yes, it is recording. Awesome. So what was I talking about? <laughs> and... Also, there's a plane annoying me.